Hey everyone, Connie here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Steins Gate Zero, Episode 8. Um, so yeah, we left off on quite a cliffhanger. It appears Okabe just jumped world lines. And on top of that, we had an after credit scene that I forgot to uh, check on. Uh, be well, I didn't know it was coming, but there was an after credit scene. And apparently, uh, in this world line that he jumped to, Kurisu's there. So, that's gonna be interesting. What the heck is gonna happen here? That, that raises a lot of questions. Um, now, as a quick note, uh, as you guys know, I've had uh, this toothache for the past week. Um, well, oh, just over a week now. Uh, I, I'm using this current. I'm currently using this like natural remedy. It's like uh, minced garlic, turmeric, and stuff like that. Uh, it's turned into a paste, and it's against my tooth, which is right over here. And basically, uh, I can't eat or drink anything until uh, about four, or just before four o'clock. Um, I know that doesn't like matter to you guys or anything. It's currently three p.m. By the way, it doesn't really matter to you guys, but I, I do want to keep you updated because obviously this toothache has been like bothering me and if it gets too bad I, I can't record with it with it like that um it's good right now in fact this uh this remedy is actually helping um there's a little bit like this the very tiniest bit of pain right now uh but it's it's nothing like it's it's nothing um the uh the remedy uh my mom gave me and all it's working wonders like but she says i have to keep doing this like three to four times a day um i have to keep doing it so it's not like something i can just like oh i'm gonna do it and then if i feel fine i won't do it again until it starts to hurt no i have to keep doing it three to four times a day according to her um but yeah for now it's it's working it's a little strong when it's like kind of chipmunked into the cheek there um but it starts to like dissolve and mo most of it starts to dissolve with my saliva and stuff and you get the drill um right now it's like i've had it i had it in there like uh 15 minutes ago 10 15 minutes ago i want to say um so i should i'm fine to like speak at all like when i first put it in there i i couldn't really like open my mouth too much because it's like all of that just like right in there next to the tooth so it's like I waited a little bit to record. Either way, I did just want to tell you guys this so you know that I am still trying to get this toothache uh, better because I want to continue recording, want to continue doing all this stuff without that bothering things. Um, but yeah, so with Steins Gate, uh, yeah, Kurisu is apparently there. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I wonder where this is going to go and is he going to now stay in the timeline with Kurisu or is he going to go back to another? How much of uh, how much of a retread are we gonna get with from season one? There's a lot that this could go into. Um, I guess we're just gonna have to find out. So when the screen fades to black, pause this redirect and go to the description below. Follow the link to the reaction, and after you watch it, come back here to the redirect and resume play. Because after it fades to black and then fades back in, everything from that point forward will be my afterthoughts and will contain spoilers to the episode. So that being said, thank you so much for tuning in today. And I'll see you at the reaction. We are back, and we'll begin with spoilers in three, two, one, now. Well, that was an emotionally charged episode. Holy shit. It was depressing. It was. It was just, it was a lot. So, Okabe, we still don't know how, but he somehow traveled back to the Alpha World Line. And, Curry Sue, Curry Sue knew he had to go back that this wasn't right, that it's not where he needed to be. <sighs> I 
as you could see, as you saw, there were a couple points in this that really got to me. Okabe holding his hand up to the sun like Mayori does while standing in front of her grave. The kiss, of course. And I've said it before, I don't really like fully ship them. I, I, I'm fine with them being together. But I've always liked the idea of him being with Mayori more. It's just made more sense to me. Both from a storytelling perspective and just because I think they'd be cuter together. But again, I don't like dislike him and Kurisu. You can have more, you can ship a person with more than one other person, so. But it's like that kiss, just the meaning behind it, the timing of it, the music that was playing, everything worked together to like make that extremely emotional. And then of course she sent him back. So I was wondering what was going to happen, and it was just basically a one-episode thing. But that will raise some things for uh, the future. One, he'll probably try to figure out how that happened in the first place. I don't think he'll uh, try to forget about Curry. So I do not think he'll be able to keep that to that. Um, I just don't know where else that's going to go from there. I don't, I just don't know. I have no clue where this is going to go at this point. Yeah, this, this episode hit me hard. And that's a good thing, I mean... It shows how much that this show, both the original season and now Steins Gate Zero, it shows how much it makes us care about these characters and what they're going through. The original series, um, the first time I saw it, it was actually, I, I had been, at the time, watching a bunch of anime with a friend. Um, we don't live near each other, so we were doing it online. We would, like, Skype and whatnot, and we'd just sync up our players and whatnot. So we were watching stuff with uh, each other, and one of the ones he suggested was Steinsgate. So I, I had known nothing about it beforehand, and I, I started watching it with him. And it took a little bit, admittedly, but I really got into it, and by the end, I adored it. And since then, I had seen it, like, four or five more times, I'd want to say. And every time I see it, it's just... It's just that good. And the thing is, it was kind of resolved in the end. I didn't think that, that there was going to be a sequel. I, I never even contemplated it. When I heard that there was a movie coming out, it's like, I, w I was excited, I was interested, but I never ended up seeing it because there wasn't a dub initially. And to be honest, I, I'm not as big a fan of the Japanese voice actors for Steins Gate. Um, there are a couple that I'm okay with, but for the most part, I just can't get into them. And um, so I, I finally saw the Steins Gate movie, I believe, last year. I believe it came out last year. It was either last year or this year, some, sometime like that. Either last year or sometime early this year. But I finally saw it. I, I actually... No, it would have had to be in last year, wouldn't it have been? Because I did it in a monthly movie night reaction, back when I was doing those on the old channel. And I enjoyed it. It wasn't, in my opinion, as good as the, as the series, but I did enjoy it. And now, we, we finally got Steins Gate Zero, and it's like, I didn't... I didn't know where this was going to go. I didn't know what was going to happen in this. All I knew going into the show was that it was going to be set around a world line in which he did not save Kurisu. That is all I knew going in. And now we're eight episodes in, and it's just as good as the original. 
but in a different way. The original Steins Gate had uh, one like big main plot point to it. Um, after a certain point of like getting us introduced to all the characters and whatnot, the main thing about the original Steins Gate was saving Mayori. And eventually it kind of went into also saving Kurisu because Okabe wanted to save both. He, he couldn't handle losing either. So the kind of plot of that but for most of the series was trying to save uh, those two, specifically for most of the series, Maori. This one is a little different. While the other one focused more on the characters and their, um, their mental state, I guess you could say, especially Okabe's in going through all of that, as well as the science behind the time travel and all, this one kind of takes a takes a step back from the time travel elements as much and focuses more on the outcome of a decision. Because again, this takes place in a world line in which Okabe did not save Kurisu. He made the decision to not save her and to save Mayori instead. And this entire series so far has been the outcome of that, the uh, repercussions of him making that decision. We've seen that um, he's had to deal with all this grief and pain from losing Kurisu, the woman he loves. We've seen that he basically has to acclimate himself to this whole new lifestyle that was that's completely different than what he was doing before. And he's basically become a completely different person because of it, but not in a good way. He's lost a lot of his motivations, he's lost a lot of his uh, just like cheeriness and happiness. He's kind of just a walking shell of his former self. And it's really depressing. And the thing is, there's no real right or wrong decision with what he did. Um, choosing to save Kurisu over Mayori or choosing to save Mayori over Kurisu, neither one is necessarily more right than the other. Because in the end, you're basically still sacrificing the life of someone you deeply care about to save someone else. Neither choice is right, but neither choice is wrong. So when he goes back to this world line now, when he goes back to the beta world line and has to deal with Kurisu not being there anymore, especially after that kiss, that's going to be hell for him. That's going to be him going back to that depression, to that just grief, and all of the pain and suffering he was feeling for his own decision. I don't know where this is going to go. It kind of feels like, to me, it's just going right back to the problem and not offering any real solution. The only thing I can think of is maybe Kurisu might have said something that will motivate him to try and change things, but I'm just unsure at this point. Nothing's entirely clear as to the future of this uh, show. Now, as for the future of this show, um, let me check real quick. I think this is set for 24 episodes, but let me check. Hold on. My anime list has been having some issues lately, so I have to log in before I can check anything. Oh, for the love of Pete. Okay, it's not... Hold on, I'll just look it up somewhere else. My anime list has been screwing around. Um, let me see here. Science Gate Zero. Okay, according to this, it's going to have 23 episodes and an OVA. Okay. So, t I was 
basically right. <laughs> um, 24 uh, total uh, episodes, I guess, if you want to count the OVA as an episode. Um, so yeah, we still got quite a bit to go in this. We're not even halfway through. Um, I mean, obviously this subbed version's further in, but, you know. So we've still got quite a bit of time, quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of episodes. So there's definitely going to be something else big happening. Now, we also do still have the plot point with, um, um, what's her name? Uh, the other girl who came from the future with Suzwa. We still have her plot point, and I'm wondering exactly where that's going to go. Um, she... I assume Okabe's going to go back to where he left, so... There's still the, uh, deal with her getting her memory back. We, we gotta get that, uh, to happen at some point. Um... And just all everything dealing with that, plus this other group apparently who are not CERN, who tried uh, to take uh, her. Um, and I still think that the one uh, doctor, I don't remember her name, but the tall blonde one, I think she's the woman who we saw uh, in the helmets and all, uh, who was trying to kidnap uh, the girl. So yeah, I'm. there's a lot to go with this still, and I'm really excited. I'm really glad I chose to react to this too. This is... This is a great series for reactions, let's be honest. Um, I can't wait to see more. Uh, tell me your thoughts, though, down in the comments below. What did you think of this episode? What did you think of the emotional moments and the visual storytelling? What did you think of uh, the ending? Where do you think this is going to go now? Tell me your thoughts on all of that and more in the comments below, and thank you so much for tuning in. For now, I'm Connie Royal, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time. Just live for yesterday Just be glad for all you have that's in today And though you've come through many obstacles Shed tears along the way